Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA have just dropped some packs in FIFA 23 that I think we need to be saving to give ourselves the best chance of packing Team of the Season cards. That's what this whole promo is about, right? Tots warm-up series saving packs for Team of the Season, but this pack and some others that are leaked, I think are going to be crucial and give us really good chances of packing Team of the Season cards here in the upcoming weeks. So I want to take a look at those SBCs that have dropped and also the ones that are leaked to be coming soon and speaking of leaks we have a lot of leaks to look at in today's video we're going to be looking at team of the season rewards leaks that we have and some other pack code that has been added and of course talk about the the potential of the conversation that ea could be dropping a loading screen and we could be getting player leaks about team of the season community and air divisi as soon as today right tuesdays are not days out of questions for where ea could drop a loading screen how could that impact the market and when should you sell your fodder if you have a lot of that still we're going to be looking at that today in the video as well. So if you're excited for today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's do a little content overview from yesterday. It wasn't a crazy Monday. We actually didn't get any more player picks or upgrade packs on the lower tier, right? I mentioned the possibility of EA doing that. They did not. Instead, they opted for yet another of the 81 times 11 packs, which is what we expected. The Premier League pack is the one they dropped. And I'm thankful that EA dropped this one. You need 285s, an 83 and an 84 squad, and a team of the week. But, albeit expensive, I'm glad EA dropped this a little bit earlier on so that we can do this upgrade pack a couple of times. This is the one that I was looking forward to. Premier League Team of the Season, guys, is only two weeks away from this, for our, less than two weeks away now, I guess, because it is going to be the second week of Team of the Season, right? This means that if you're doing this 81 times 11, you have to hold this a lot less time than you do an 81 times 11 from La Liga or an 81 times 11 from Serie A. It does depend on what Tots cards you want to give yourself the best chance at packing. But I think this Premier League 81 11 is one I'm going to do more of just because Prem Tots is more exciting for me, uh, especially some of the players I may want to pack from it. And even if you wanted to open it with Community Team this season, there's going to be a lot of cards in Community Tots that will be from the Premier League. So I think that SBC is pretty pack are pretty doable and I think I would recommend getting into that one if you're going to do any of the 81 times 11 SBCs. 88,000 coins again, pretty expensive. We also had a couple kit SBCs yesterday. I actually have to show you guys this global native kit because I have it in real life. It's really sick. Uh, I know it's a kit SBC, so it is what it is. But uh that 8111, I don't think that's the one that's a must do. All I'm saying is I think that's out of the, all the 8111s, that's the better one to do. Now, which of these is the must to do? There's one SBC right now that I think it is. It's this 86 plus double upgrade. It's only 47,000 coins because it's magically only an 84 rated squad. You can do it once per day, every single day. And this one is kind of like not a no brainer, but this is the one that I think gives you a really, really good chance of packing the team this season for a lower cost. It's only one squad. Yes, it is 44, 47,000 coins because 84s are just very overpriced as it is right now on this market, but I would stack a couple of these if you can. If you're opening any of your rewards or any of upgrade packs this week to get any fodder, or if you're just deciding what should I put my limited amount of fodder into or what should I grind towards, this is the one that I would do unless you're doing 81 times 11s. I know you only get two players from it, but... You only have to turn in an 84 raid squad and 86 plus guaranteed two walkouts right there. I think that is a pack that I would stock up on. And I think a lot of people are doing this pack as well, because if you go to the market and take a look at the prices of 84s, they really exploded yesterday because this SBC is catching the attention of a lot of people for good reason. 84s are basically 5,000 coins, 4.8, 4.9, about 5,000 coins. And again, we're getting to that point in the week where we started to say earlier uh, in the, the videos when we were investing in fodder like last week we targeted kind of the tuesday wednesday thursday time as a sell opportunity for some sbc fodder and that's what i want to talk about next do i think fodder is a sell i think the short answer is is no i don't think fodder is a necessary sell right now except for in a couple of areas you look at 82s we talked about investing in 82s in yesterday's video right we talked about those at 850 to 900 those are peaking at 1 to 1.2k every day at content time list those for 1.5 you will get sales on 82s at 1.5 really good investment there if you got on that yesterday now for the rest of the fodder market 83s they're about 2k 84 is almost 5k 85s 14 to 15 thousand coins they just kind of keep going up just a little bit every single day. We have another SBC coming today that could move the low tier market 
more and still like we've been talking about no supply it's all demand and no supply right now on these cards i would hold your low tier fodder because a you need it and b if you invested to sell unless you have millions and millions of coins in this and you have to start selling in order to get it all sold before the tots pack supply comes and you want to get out of your cards then i would not be selling these cards right now because i think they will still go higher towards the end of the week the fodder that i might start to think about selling is the higher rated stuff because it's kind of halted right this part of the market is not rising up that much more 72 73k for the 91 rated cards has kind of been where they've been at in the past couple of days if you take a look we'll do 14 days hourly right they had the big spike and they really just kind of been in the same amount the hype for that 90 plus um, icon pack was really the most hype on the weekend when it dropped if you have 88s and above i would start to think about selling a few of these because i just feel like they're not going to go too much higher before uh they go a little bit lower this weekend and then maybe they'll go up again on the weekend with the 90 plus icon uh sbc refreshing but i think it would be a good time to sell then and then maybe try to get back in on friday or maybe saturday if that uh, actually on Friday when this SBC refreshes, maybe even Thursday, right? I think the high rated fodder is gonna have a bit of a peak trickle down a little bit in price and then maybe come back up. So that's what I would do with the high rated fodder, take the cash and then look to reinvest in other areas or still buy into this market right now that is very cheap. But again, on the low tier, I think I would hold informs. If you have informs as well, I think on the high tier, I would again, sell those cards. Again, we're worried about the high tier fodder market just a little bit because you guys know that when we get team of the season, it just supplies so many high rated cards onto the market because a lot of these TOTS cards that are going to be released are going to be uh, in the 87, 88, and on the low tier, right? For those lowest late rated TOTS cards, but a lot of 90s and 91s. And that's just gonna drop the overall prices of the fodder market because those new cards are coming out with a decent amount of pack supply and they kind of flood the market. So that's kind of a fodder update for you guys right now. 82s to 86s, hold 87 and above. Maybe you take the cash if you want the coins uh, and so that you don't have to worry about prices uh, dipping off a little bit and you're selling at a really high time. Now, let's take a look at the leaks that we have specifically with fodder we have another leak for a player pick pack that is going to be upcoming viva romania tweeted this out yesterday an 85 plus player pick is coming as an sbc soon he says tots warm up has been great so far with a lot of ways to get sbcs and a lot of packs right a one of three 85 plus player pick another reason to hold your middle to lower tier fodder i mean an 85 plus player pick let's say you could do this like one time per day like the other upgrade packs and player picks that have been dropped i would imagine this is probably going to come in around the price of the 86 double hopefully uh maybe it's that cheap right 47 000 coins 50k for this would be really really nice a one of three player pick i know you don't get to take home both players and maybe it would end up being a little bit cheaper but i'm just being realistic player picks are more often expensive than packs because i think ea know that people like the opportunity to have that choice even though you only get to take one card with you you get to choose between three and especially with team of the season cards about to be in packs player picks are going to be very very popular so another reason to hold your lower tier fodder and to watch out for this player pick right here this would be another one that could really give out pretty a uh, high amount of team of the seasons could have, could have some pretty good pack weight inside of this player pick so another one that you maybe want to save if you're stacking packs for team of the season but i just want to kind of point that out because that was a really massive leak that we had yesterday. That could be a part of our content today on Tuesday. I would imagine that it's probably going to be today or tomorrow. And I also would think that this could be an opportunity if you have some middle to high rated informs, this could be an opportunity to sell those as well, because I almost feel like we're going to have another SBC with an inform requirement. I know we're getting one just about every day, like the Premier League 8111 has that inform requirement in it. So just be careful with those. But maybe another spike on informs today if that sbc is leaked now let's talk about the market because we talked about the market a lot in the last two days and some prices have definitely hit their lowest some cards seem to have rebounded back up just a little bit now i'm still holding a lot of my investments personally i made investments on my account i'm flat broke right Thirty-two thousand coins 
from 8 million coins down to 32k i'm flat broke right and i made those investments because i knew that i wasn't going to be on my account much in the next like these past two days and i knew that i wasn't going to be trading too much myself so that's why i made those investments and i plan to see these cards rise up a little bit more as we head throughout this week because like we talked about and seeing the content isn't that spectacular it is a little bit slow right it's all about the buildup and of course the panic selling is going to just kind of fizzle out as people are like okay i've sold for the last two weeks we've had the market dropping and i'm not expecting and, and as you guys probably have seen prices really haven't roared back already that's not how it works right we are investing and have been looking at the meta market in these past couple of days for a rise that is going to happen this weekend so if you're like nate i bought some cancelo team of the year because you were talking about him at you know 300,000 coins and my guy is still like 315k I'm, I'm not even making coins here right now then you know we're just waiting right I, I had no intentions of selling too many of these cards that I bought I bought Cancelo's at 299 300,000 coins right I still have them on my transfer list you can list them for lazies but really what we're waiting for is the rise this weekend when the coins get injected on the market so if you're not seeing prices rising or if prices on your card that you still bought or you still want to buy some cards I think there's still low prices out there that you can absolutely take advantage of but uh, we're just not expecting to see the market like exploding right away. So we're waiting for the weekend on that. Now, technically today on Tuesday, we haven't seen a team of the season loading screen yet. We have no info, no news about that. There could absolutely be today on Tuesday, a loading screen for a team of the season, which could maybe make a couple cards go down a little bit further in price. Usually that first loading screen that we see isn't super revealing. Maybe it says like, oh my goodness, team of the season is in three days, 23 hours, you know, that sort of thing and shows the car design. Unless there's like something brand new about a loading screen that we had no idea about, probably not gonna impact the market too much more and cause a lot more panic, but maybe a little bit, right? We check Mbappe just about every video during a market crash, just to kind of see where he's at. I think he's been hovering around 350K. Is he up a little bit right now? Mbappe is, oh wow, how much is Mbappe? Mbappe is 360, so he's up about 10K, right? Not a crazy rise, but maybe maybe we've kind of reached the bottom and he's going back up just a little bit more. And maybe that's how a lot of the meta market is going to react. But I think prices are still low overall and there is opportunity to invest if you want to. Again, maybe a loading screen today and maybe some player leaks, right? A lot of the leaks that we have right now, I want to look at some uh, at the moment. We have like packs that are leaked, right? We have the 85 plus player pick. We have some packs that have been added to the code um, and our leaks are kind of more so around packs and stuff like that we don't have leaks about the actual tots cards yet but that could be starting today so just kind of keep an eye out on on twitter for that sort of thing now what i want to look at here as we see Lewandowski dancing that's really nice um air divisi tots player pack a tots loan a foot champs tots player pack an 84 times 30 and an 84 times 25 some really big packs right there that to me smells like tots swaps but we have nothing to believe right now no car designs added we have nothing to believe right now that we would be getting a team of the season swaps promo so that's very interesting that those have been added in i don't know how those would be i mean if they just drop those straight up possessed now nah, there's no way they're gonna drop those straight up possessed bcs that would be ridiculous maybe in the store but that would seem pretty crazy as well uh but this to me kind of seems like the start of the rewards foot champions tots player pack right that's the first pack added to the code that states foot champions and team of the season now we do have another league here from fifa u team talking about the champs rewards that are going to be upcoming and these rewards to me they look pretty solid it's all going to come down to how EA split this up, right? You've got a community and air divisi tots player pick max 90 rated. Those are probably going to be for your lowest rated finishes in weekend league. Then you've got a community slash air divisi tots player pick one of five. I would imagine that's going to be for like six wins and nine wins in weekend league. And then maybe once you get above nine wins, or maybe it'll take you all the way to 14 wins to where you get a choice between just a community tots player pick, which for some of you guys that are maybe interested in air divisi this is the same problem that we're running into this year on this game that we ran into last year you wouldn't be able to pack a air divisi player if you get like rank three or above you're probably just going to have the community tots player picks there uh, unless they're going to give out a community slash air divisi as one of those player picks and then some exclusive community tots player picks to some of the higher ranks then i i don't know that you know we might not be able to pack 
Air Divisie Tots cards, uh, the lower level League of Tots, right? You could call it each week from rewards if you're in a rank three or above situation. So that's something that we have yet to see and yet to learn. We'll learn this though, because obviously every time EA update the rewards in here, we can see it. And as of right now, I don't think we can see the rewards. If I R1 over one of three foot champs players, yeah, it still has it still has the old rewards in here for champs finals right now. And I think this will update when the season updates on Thursday. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. But that's why we don't have the final information. We just have leaks at this time. But those packs being added to me does kind of talk about and show the first signs of a uh, team of the season rewards change because EA have not said anything about that so far so last thing i want to talk about actually two things today's content on tuesday we talked about maybe that 85 plus player pick incoming we're also going to have a player of the month sbc today and that is because ea told us last week and i think i missed it last week but we talked about it on stream the openda league one player of the month is going to be dropping today so we're hoping for an 89 rated openda that would be absolutely insane if ea gave him a double boost he's going to have the 99 pace probably 90 shooting probably 90 physical hopefully they give him a four star four star upgrade that'd be insane but maybe just a four star in either skill moves or the weak foot but that openda player of the month is going to be coming today so watch out for that sbc that was posted on the ea fifa france twitter account so that's kind of like a confirmation from ea themselves that's going to be coming out and then also today we have new tots voting yes we do We've now we have now voted on three different leagues of team of the season, and we haven't seen a single Tots card drop in the game. That's a little disappointing if you think of it. But today, Bundesliga Tots is going to be voted on, and um, I will be uh, probably posting my vote on Twitter. I'll do it as fast as I can once it's uh, open. Post that on Twitter so that we can uh, kind of look at that. But another short voting window. It's going to be open from today until Friday. The voting will be closed then uh, when we get community Tots added to packs. And uh, yeah, so voting for Bundesliga team of the season starts today, just like we saw with the Premier League vote. If there's anybody that is not included, like let's say, I mean, with the way Oop McConnell has been playing recently, who knows if he's going to be included in Bundesliga Tots voting. But this would be the type of card that if he is not included in the vote, you might see as he is one of the most popular Bundesliga players that is in this game, you might see his card price rise up, just like we saw with the VVD special versions when he was not included in the Premier League TOTS voting uh, about a week back, you saw his price go up like crazy. He was like really low and then he spiked. Maybe it was like right around here. He went up like 100K on the one day uh, that the voting released. So the same thing could happen potentially. It all depends on who's in the voting, right? So it all depends. But that is one of the things that I would expect to see on this game today. And other than that, make sure you're getting your daily logins done. I got to do this. I got to catch up on a couple of these SBCs. And I got to remember to turn in all the fodder that I have too, because I have a lot of fodder on my transfer list that I'll be turning in to do these upgrade SBCs and uh, stacking them for a team of the season. And uh, yeah, I'm not expecting a really big day, but the thing that could really shake things up today would be a loading screen or leaks. And Tuesdays are oftentimes when we get pretty close to those things happening on this game. I'm going to claim my daily pack here, the completionist number four and 84 triple. We take that. And that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you back in the normal setup tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new. Can't forget about that one. Stay the foot account and see you guys there. Peace.